Okay, let's see how we can send numbers to the LCD. This is our skeleton code and we have the LCD initialize and the LCD set up dis the display, as you should already know from previous videos. But when we were looking to send a number to the LCD, we can't just send a, a number by itself, like LCD send a string and then type in the number 200. We would, this is an actual number and it, and it doesn't, this function doesn't accept numbers, it only accepts strings. And another way we would want to do this is to have a variable, let's say an integer, and it's equal to 200. We would want to be able to send a variable to the LCD as well, but obviously we know that we can't do this because this is not the correct data type to uh, in this function for send a string. So let's see how we can do this. First, we need to take this integer and we need to convert it into a string. So the LCD send a string will be able to handle this. So the way we do that is using another function called sprintf. But we don't have that available to us right now because we don't have the proper include for that library. And the include is stdio, which is the standard IO library for the C programming language. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make that available to us. And the only way to make that available to us is using the repository. If this happens to you, just press the return and select your microcontroller, go to components, and then click on the C library. And you can see that it has, it has been added for us, the C library, we can remove it if we want to. You'll also notice that it's in this hierarchical project area. So let's go ahead and get rid of the repository window and let's see if it's made available to us. So we're going to include stdio.h and I'm not really sure if I need the the brackets or not or the these types of brackets for the include. It shows that it doesn't show a an error here but um, let's see if it works. So we're going to use the function called sprint. You'll notice that there are some inputs that it's requiring and the first one is the car. So let's go ahead and set up a car variable and let's say this is string number. We'll just call it string number and then we'll leave it at that. So we should have the, the variables set up for us. So we're going to start off with putting the string number here as the first input. The second input will be a format. So this is going to be in the form of a string. And the first character we're going to put in there is the percent sign. And then the, the following character will be a letter determining what format the next variable will be. And in this case, it's going to be D for integer. I believe you can also use the letter I, but we'll use D because that's commonly used. And then the next input will be the actual integer. So we'll just do a copy and paste of that. And you'll see that it's, there doesn't seem to be any errors. So let's go ahead and do a, well, let's go ahead and put this one in the send a string because this is the actual string that will contain the number, the converted number. So let's go ahead and see if it at least builds for us. And you can see it does not build. It looks like I actually may have to create a declared array, like for five characters, something like that. Let's try that and see if that works. It looks like that worked, but I don't want to, I want to use it as a pointer. Let me see if I can do that. I've never actually done that before. I've always made an array. So if I create that as a pointer, let's see what we get. Looks like we still have an error, but um, it's used uninitialized. So let's initialize it with an empty string. Okay, it seemed to have worked. So let's try it out. Sometimes it's actually good to have an array initialized because in the LCD, you don't want the number of characters to exceed a certain amount because you only have so many characters available on that LCD. So 
sometimes it's good, uh, but I'm going to try it like this. And we know that like an integer, if we know what the maximum minimum values are going to be, then it shouldn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and flash the microcontroller and see if it works. And it looks like it did not work. Just to make sure that we're that we're doing that we're able to actually do something on this. Okay, we can't even output a two hundred. It looks like I am unable to use the pointer type or the pointer to a variable. It just doesn't work. And I'm wondering if it has something to do with memory issues. So we have to make this a an array. I'm going to use five characters. This is only three characters, but it doesn't really matter in this particular case. That's, that's just in case I have a number that goes up to 20,000. Um, an unsigned number. I can actually put that on here. That's only for numbers above zero unsigned. Unsigned means it's not going to be negative. So let's go ahead and do another build and let's flash the microcontroller. The 100 that you saw previous on the LCD was from me testing to find out why it didn't work. So I was able to uh, I'll put a number. It wasn't the way I'd like to do it, but um, I'll probably do a little more research on why I can't use the pointer here. But let's see if we can create another function that only outputs um, outputs numbers. So in the LCD functions, we're going to essentially place this in the function. So I'm going to copy this. And we'll create another function that outputs numbers. So this is going to be something that doesn't require a return. And we'll call it LCD send a, an integer. I guess we could make it so it sends other variables, like doubles and floating, floating points. But I want to make this simple at first. So we're just going to make it so it sends an integer. And we're going to want to receive the actual integer. So we'll make it a signed integer just in case it has to be a negative. And we'll call it um, call it integer to be to be displayed. And that should be all I need to pass in. All right, so let's go ahead and paste what we had. So the string number can be just, uh, I would like to make this a little bit more. You know what? There's another number we need to pass in, and that is length. Uh, this is going to be an unsigned integer. Actually, it can be a, let's see, length of, do I have this variable type available to me? Well, we'll find out. We'll call it length of digits. That should be easy enough to understand. So I'll use that here. And then the integer will be equal to this, but we don't so we don't really really need to actually use that line. We're gonna copy and paste the actual integer to be displayed in the S S printf function. And that should be it. So it should just go ahead and send that string. So let's try this out. I'm going to do a copy and paste of this. Oh, why, why, why not just do it the right way? We'll save all this. Save the files. LCD. Send an integer. There we go. I don't like that big N. Okay, so integer to be displayed, let's just call it 150. And then I'll need three digits for this particular number. Ah, I didn't put the include in the function, so I'm going to do that here. I 
I got an error that said that it didn't know what the sprint command was or the function was. So I need to actually include that in here because you'll notice that I did it after, I did this include after the LCD functions. And since this LCD functions uses this command or this function, I really do want to put it in this header file. I could have just put this at the beginning, like so, but I'm not actually using any of the stdio library, um, library functions in here. So I really don't need it in here. I really do need it in the LCD functions. I could keep it here, but I don't really see any reason why until I start using some functions here that I need it. And even if I don't, or I, if, even if I do have some functions here, I don't really need to put it in there because the LCD functions has it in there also, but I don't, I'm not going to know that. So I'll still probably add it in here if I, if I'm using some functions from that library in my main code, especially when I'm not going to be using the LCD and I have to get rid of this. So let's go ahead and try this out and see if it works. Let's build it. Looks like we got no errors. That's good. And I'm going to flash the market controller and see if it still works. Okay, we got the number 150. That's good. Now, you might, you might be wondering, well, why am I why do I have to put a specific number here? This actually should be a max number. I'm going to change the input variable to say max length of digits. And generally when you're making something for the LCD, you have, let's say 16, 16 um, characters on, on the first line. And let's say you wanted to show um, a particular number, let's say pressure. And now you know that you have one, two, three, four, five, six characters remaining on that line. So you can just go ahead and put in six because you're going to use the rest of that line. Or you can not have a space here and you can have seven. And now you'll know how many characters or digits you can have on that line. And you want to also make sure that this number is not going to exceed that number of digits. So we have created a new function that outputs integers on the LCD.